How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I am actually going to look at a stock that I never thought that I was going to buy. I have a couple disclaimers before we get into it, but I came across this stock today and after looking into it more, it was pretty interesting to me. It's a penny stock that is literally less than one penny. It costs less than a penny and I bought a thousand shares. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over the penny stock that is a multi-billion dollar company. It's actually less than a penny a share. I'm gonna be talking about why I bought it, which it's not just because I think it's a great investment or anything like that. It's partly because it's fun. So just disclaimer, I didn't put in $10,000 in the stock or anything. I put in five, $10. So I'm gonna be going over why I bought it, some of the interesting and kind of really cool stuff that they might be doing soon that they've put a team together to try to complete. And then I'm gonna give you the disclaimers that it is something that's pretty volatile. Uh, the company might have an issue going into the future, but it is something that's really interesting to talk about and to think about. So I'm gonna tell you that. And also too, if you haven't already looked, if you are interested in joining our Patreon here, I do have a link below to Patreon. You get connected to our Discord server. We have now four members and we talk about stocks throughout the day. Um, I showed them exactly when I bought the stock and talked to them about why I bought it. And it's kind of interesting to go back and forth with everyone. It's a really good little community that we have there. So if you want to join that, that's great. You don't have to. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on YouTube, still a video a day. So if you like this, you know, just let me know in the comments. Just uh, stick with this. But otherwise, take a look at the Patreon. I appreciate it and we'll get right into it. Just looking at the stock, it's actually Rolls Royce. So if you don't know Rolls Royce, they are probably most well known in the consumer world for their cars. They're like 350 or $400,000 cars, right? So they are very, very top and very expensive. And to be honest, I didn't realize how big this company was. So I'm showing it here. It The share price is 55 10 thousandths of a penny, so 0.55 cents. So you can buy a share for 0.55 cents, and it's a massive company. So today, just alone, they had a massive trading volume. Millions of these shares are traded all the time because it's so cheap, but it's a $120 billion company market cap. So massive company, had no idea. They're also in aircraft engines, so they are the world's second largest maker of aircraft engines, after GE. So General Electric is the number one, but Rolls-Royce is number two. They're a British company, but they work out of many different nations and they're in aerospace, defense, and energy. So it's a pretty interesting company. I came across it and it had been up 20% on the day or so and I bought it and it actually went down uh, probably 10% or so. Yeah, 10% after I bought it. I put in six dollars so one of the dangers of having penny stocks and i actually talked about that in a video earlier this week where i talked about how i don't really like penny stocks i like fractional shares of bigger companies because typically they are these large market cap companies that are pretty stable and i'll be honest with you it's kind of confusing to try to look up this stock and get more information on it because we're going through what Rolls Royce does, but they have several different stocks. So they have this RLLCF stock, which is the one that I bought. They also have RYCEY and RYCEF, which are more typical looking stocks. If you take a look at their at their stock chart, it looks a lot more normal. So uh, it's definitely something to take note of. And this says that it's a market cap of just 6.4 billion. So it's kind of confusing. It's really hard to get information on the difference between these and I'm not sure why it's so difficult, but just take that into account too. I'm not saying that this is something that's really obvious or like, hey, you should go invest in this because um, it's as straightforward as like a US stock or just like a normal company that has one share. Or maybe it's like Berkshire Hathaway where they have a $400,000 share and a $200 share and they're essentially the same thing. One's just a lot more inexpensive. But that's just something to take into consideration right now because by no means am I saying that you should invest in this just because of the interesting stuff that I'll talk about in a second, but you should definitely do your own research. 
I'd love to hear from you guys if you know what the difference is between all these. Um, but I just wanted to throw it out there. And it's interesting because not too many people talk about Rolls Royce Holdings over here in America. I think it's more of a important stock over in the UK and in Europe. More people talk about it there. It's hard to get here too, so you can't just buy it on Robinhood or Webull or M1 Finance. You have to do an over-the-counter exchange. So I got mine through Fidelity. So I was able to buy a thousand shares right away on Fidelity. So it wasn't a big deal. And they're interesting because this year they shot up from about three thousandths of a dollar up to two cents. So it went up seven, eight hundred percent, something like that. And it had massive growth because it came out that they're going to build the world's fastest all electric aircraft. And it's interesting because we're in a world where all these companies are exploding because they're making electric powered cars. We haven't really talked too much about electric engines, at least from what I've heard. I mean, we don't hear about that in the stock news every day, but they are working on the fastest one ever. And if we take a look at their website, it's going to be fuel efficient, obviously, right, compared to oil. But it's also just going to be safer for the environment, healthier, cleaner. And they are hoping to get it to be able to fly 200 miles. So not a huge distance, but still pretty far. I mean, like they say, London to Paris. So like short flights. And they're hoping to get it up to 300 miles per hour later this year, which would be just crazy. They announced this big contract with the US Navy for about $120 million. A pretty large contract there might lead into more um, contracts in the future. Now I will say it's pretty hard to get information on RLLCF over here. So that's a ticker symbol, but it's an interesting stock. Like if you just want to go and spend uh, $10, $20 and buy thousands of shares, honestly, I haven't looked into penny stock trading or penny stock investing or anything like that too deeply just because I know that's not a good long-term investment of my time and effort and money but I hadn't really heard of stocks that were underneath the penny that were these massive companies and if we take a look at it here their 52 week range is just insane so it's gone from nearly a tenth of a penny up to three cents so I mean it's very volatile it went up 30 times or went down 30 times in that time period. So that's just a massive amount. Um, it's something that maybe you can, if you like to day trade, which I don't suggest doing, but if you can you know, use that to your advantage somehow, that would be quite interesting. They are a company though that is in a tough situation, I think, because of the fact that there are gonna be less aircrafts probably being made because there's less demand for air travel. And, you know, with their cars, I don't know how much of a percentage of their revenue comes from their cars, but that is going to be tough too, I think, to sell a three hundred dollars or $400,000 car in this economy. And just in the world in general, I think a lot more people are going more towards Teslas or maybe the classic Lamborghini. I don't hear a lot about like rich people going to buy a Rolls Royce, which I'm not in a rich scene here or anything, but I hear about a lot of people wanting to buy the best technology and I'm not sure Rolls Royce really can stand up to Tesla in that way. And I realize that they're different, but just something that is flowing around my head. Now I will say I didn't buy this necessarily for like a really long term outlook. I did it mostly because it was cheap, it was fun, it's something to talk about. Now $5, $6 doesn't really matter in the long term. Um, I just wanted to say that I had done it and you know with some of these growth opportunities I thought it was kind of interesting so I just put a, a thousand shares on the line not too worried about it please don't hate me in the comments because I talked about not buying penny stocks and I bought penny stocks I lost 10% today and I lost 60 cents like I don't care about that but it's just something interesting um, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it are you interested in anything like this? If you haven't signed up for Webull or M1 Finance, I'd really love for you to use the links down below. It really helps out my channel. With Webull, you can get two free stocks, one worth up to $1,400. And then with M1 Finance, they're my favorite broker. You can start a portfolio and follow along with my, uh, with my dividend series. So I'm starting a portfolio from zero and we're gonna grow it $100 a week. And I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm buying. The reason for this is because at my age, I'm 24. If I put in $100 a week, by the time that I am 60, assuming about an 8% rate of return, I should have nearly a million dollars. 
So you don't have to put in these massive amounts of money to be a millionaire. This is just something that you can do with $100 a week. And I kind of want to just show you my investing process and my thoughts along the way. So hopefully you can take that journey with me. And I'll link to the video here where I talk about the different dividend companies that I bought. I think that it's it's pretty fun just to go through them and take a look at you know how much they're paying. A lot of them are at discounts. I'm buying discounted companies. So I think that it's, it's good to go through the process of buying these companies. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.